Just yes, it's some type of activity by a pharaoh to identify and conserve the very unique and remarkable uh, agriculture systems in the world. So the final obje ob objective of the GIAS is to conserve this type of unique agriculture systems. In general, that uh, most of the GIAS sites uh, has a traditional history of production systems, knowledges and technologies, and also maintenance of the biodiversity, agrobiodiversity, and also uh, it has achieved a certain level of magnificent uh, landscapes. And also it should be contributed to the security and livelihood of the rural communities. I found this is a very, very profound technologies and uh, uh, unique uh, knowledge of the Asian people. So the appearance, it looks the same as uh, the other agriculture production system, but if we look at the one step more, uh, this has a long history of, of knowledge accumulation and also the accumulation of the remarkable uh, agriculture production systems. I think that it is very important that uh, each GIS hides a key technology, core technology that can be disseminated and uh, duplicated in other areas of the world. GIS is a model case of sustainability and resilience as a result of the long history of agriculture production. So we need to take up these kind of uh, lessons learned and also uh, key core element of the technology and should, these technologies should be disseminated in other areas of the world.